it was, it was a really nice evening actually yesterday to turn off. Yeah, it turned out pretty nice. Humidity dropped after some some heavy rain, and and again we needed some of that rain. So. Uh, yeah, I think it shaped into a nice afternoon. We still have some showers left over this morning and we will find a few more of those over the coming days, but nothing I think like we had yesterday, at least nothing perhaps as widespread. We could though find some thunderstorms this afternoon and I do think a few of them will be on the stronger side, especially for southern parts of our area. That said, we will still get some sun mixed in too and we also have a lot more of that on the way for Sunday and the start of next work week before more rain is back by next week. So here's that rain this morning. It's again not widespread and most of it isn't that heavy either. Uh, mostly dry for the southeastern parts of the of Vermont, but northern New York, Champlain Valley, seeing a few of those showers. Let's zoom in to some of those heavier pockets. If you're up towards Shazy, towards Dannemora, Redford, maybe some moderate showers there, but heavier for Chesterfield, Charlotte, and Williston. This is all moving to the north and east here, and I think it's kind of fizzling out as it goes. So that is a concern as you're stepping out the door. You might get a little damp, but we also have some patchy, dense fog that's going to cause some problems. Zero visibility in St. J. It's not too good in Springfield, Keene, and uh, Benning either Montpelier also has some of that so please watch out for these couple of different concerns on your morning commute still a little muggy but not nearly as bad as it was yesterday 70 degrees in Burlington 65 in Middlebury and St. J 64 11 and 61 degrees in Saranac Lake so again a little bit of relief from that but we will still have some slightly muggy conditions this afternoon with temperatures in the upper 70s for Saranac Lake and Lake Placid 86 for Port Henry today 82 in Shazy a little bit of a breeze but not much and that's going to be out of the south We've got scattered showers and again a few thunderstorms this afternoon. 83 in Montpelier, 80 in Newport, 73 in Jay, 87 for Virgins, Burlington up near 85. Now to the south, we do of course have scattered rain and a few storms, but I think some of them will be a little bit stronger. That's why you guys will have the better chance for some damaging wind gusts and definitely some downpours, lightning and stuff like that. 85 in Claremont, 80 in Ludlow, 77 in Killington. So let's break that down for you, that storm chance. Some sun will come out and it does provide energy fuel for these thunderstorms and as you can see we'll find a couple of these firing up over the Champlain Valley and areas east of there but in southern parts of the area this afternoon around commute time dinner time or so even a little bit before that we will find a few of these become pretty strong so heads up you guys we're not quite done with that and overnight tonight maybe a few showers left over but those really start to wrap up tomorrow morning maybe a little sun to start and we'll have some of that through the afternoon but like today scattered showers and a few thunderstorms are possible but it's nothing widespread sunday finally less and less of that humidity 80 degrees or so with some sunshine so two more days here to watch Again, nothing is widespread, but you're going to have you want to be on your toes if you have anything planned outside because of that chance for a few showers and some thunderstorms mixed in. Monday is nice. Tuesday evening showers and a couple of storms. Wednesday and Thursday are the better chances for those for next week.